The home team won the toss and put Richmond into bat. Tim Southern and Evan Marshall opened the bowling for South Hampstead and with only four runs on the board, Richmond was soon in trouble, losing Paul Bale. Obviously, we've got a few new faces. We've lost a few players from last year, but all in all, I don't think the side's been weakened too much, so I'm optimistic that we can repeat last year's trial. At 55, Richmond's Peter Ray is the oldest player in the Barnard Marcus Middlesex League. It's got a little fiercer. I think people feel a little more keenly than they did. Uh, I think it's all taken rather more seriously. But it's quite nice. Competitive, which is good. The standard of the Middlesex League is very high. South Hampstead's players include an assistant coach at Lords. He's Martin Robinson. Uh, he's played first-class cricket, and um, he's my vice-captain. Very good player, and uh, he's got us all training before the game. As you saw, we've been practicing for about the last hour. Um, and we've also got Brad Donlan, who plays for Sussex. Uh, he's in the t Sussex twos at the moment, which is why he's playing for us, but he's also a very good player. I think you've always got to rate Teddington. They're a very good side. They won the National Club Championship last year. Uh, they certainly haven't weakened from last year, so they'll be a force. I think Southgate will be a good side this year. They came third last year, uh, and their batting, I think, has been strengthened this year. Enfield, Hampstead, perhaps. There are, I'd say there are half a dozen sides, all with a very good chance of in the league, and the others will probably all disagree with me, but that's the way I, think, that's the way I see it. Yeah.